Hello everyone, Spiron here. I hope you all are doing great as always. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix an error code uh, that is associated with enabling secure boot uh, that prevents you from opening Valorant. So the error might come in this form, which tells you van 9003, uh, and it will tell you that you need to enable secure boot in order to play uh, the game. Uh, it might come in, m in many other forms, which I'll uh, you know list here. And um, uh, to uh, enable secure boot, you need to go to your BIOS and enable it from there. So each motherboard has a different uh, BIOS setting, like the, the menu of it, the, the way to get to your secure boot is different. So uh, I'll leave you, uh, you know, screenshots and directions at the end of the video uh, to for each motherboard so that you can, uh, you know, get it, get to your secure boot more easily and not like try to uh, search for uh, for a way to get to your secure boot on the internet. Uh, so for my case, my motherboard is Azrock. So that's the one I'll be showing you after a minute. So to know your secure boot state, whether it's off or on, you need to type system information in the search bar. And from there, you can see secure boot state, it's turned off. So now you know that it's turned off. To know your motherboard's manufacturer, it's it's right here baseboard manufacturer it says rook and a baseboard product is the model number of your of your board which is b560 pro 4 so uh first things first you need to um, know your bias key to know your bias key you need to like type in your uh manufacturer uh, uh name and a model maybe and then in the internet and try to uh, uh find it uh, it's bias key but alternatively, you can uh, restore your PC and keep on matching Dell key F12 and F11. Uh, it might get you to the boot menu. And luckily in the boot menu, you can access your uh, BIOS. At the bottom of your boot menu, there will, some there will be something called enter setup. And clicking on it get gets you to your BIOS. So that's what I'm gonna show you in a second. So now we are in the boot menu. And as you can see at the bottom, there is an option called Enter Setup. Just click on it and it will get you to your BIOS. Now after clicking on it, we're in the BIOS. As you can see in the top right corner, there is something called Advanced Mode. You have to click on it. And then go to Security. And from there you can see Secure Boot and Intel Platform Trust Technology. That's PTM. You have to enable it. If it's disabled, just make it enabled because that's needed especially for Windows 11 so after making after clicking on enable uh, you have to go to secure boot and then um, enable the first option which is secure boot as you can see here it's disabled so you click on it and then click on enabled as you can see there is an error called uh, false secure boot keys CSM is loaded so I have to disable CSM in setup and then repeat the operation after rebooting to the, to the BIOS again. It might happen, it might not happen for you, but for some like me, it happens. So you have to disable it from the boot menu. So click on OK and then go to boot. Then at the bottom, you'll see something called CSM compatibility support module. Click on that, and first op first option is CSM. Just disable that. As you can see, first option CSM. Click on it, then disabled. Then after that, you have to save changes and restart your PC and go again to your BIOS through boot menu or through the BIOS key. So exit from this corner and then save changes and exit click on that and then yes now we've rebooted to the bias again go to advanced mood and then go to security then secure boot again then the first option secure boot make it enabled and that's that if you boot it to Windows and you saw that Secure Boot isn't enabled, which is unlikely to happen, you'd 
go back through this same um, area and go to uh, install default secure boot keys or enroll secure default secure keys depending on your uh, motherboard manufacturer as you can see here in install default secure boot keys you'll have to uh, click on it and then click on yes that's only if it happened to if not then just like go to uh, uh, exit and then save changes after enabling secure boots now we enabled secure boot from our bias I'll just show you that it's enabled you can check it from the system information go there and yes secure boot state it's turned on so now we can reopen Valorant and uh, you'll, lo you'll no longer see uh, the error. I can show you this real quick. So as you can see, we no longer are getting errors. It's uh, it's here. So yeah. So now about the screenshots and directions to each motherboard on how to enable secure boot and also to disable CSM if you have it enabled, because you'll you would not be able to enable secure boot if it's on. And yeah, thanks for watching the video and I hope I helped you in a way. And if you have any questions, you can uh, join my Discord server. I'm mostly active there. Or you can leave me a comment down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to help. See you in the next one.